Malika, what we do know right now is that uh, we can confirm shortly after 7.30, uh, 7.30, 7.40 thereabout, we were actually now in the town office at uh, INDM and we had some loud explosion which we could not exactly tell what it was. In fact, we thought that uh, cars had actually uh, collided uh, uh, on along Kenyatta Avenue, therefore we ignored. Then a few minutes, of course, information has come in that there was an explosion at the Latema Tomboya Junction and yes, just to confirm this is the exact spot where that particular incident has occurred and the information that you have is that uh, an individual who was uh, moving, uh, he had been hired to move his trolley and carry goods for somebody. I think uh, he is in a red, uh, 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 he's still in a red overall over there and uh, he is the one who was actually pushing the trolley when uh, the person that had asked him to help him move the goods, apparently we gather that he asked him that he has forgotten his ID at the M Pesa kiosk where he had done some withdrawal and therefore he told him to wait uh, within a split uh, second whatever uh, was uh, in the goods that he was uh, moving on the trolley then exploded and uh, that is what happened now so far detectives have uh, uh, gotten they've surrounded that particular person who was uh, who had been hired to push the trolley and they are, as you can see they are trying to get his details uh, security officers have already swung in action uh, part of Tom Boyer has been cordoned, uh, uh, of course, uh, to, as uh, they now start uh, uh, looking at the possibility of trying to trace or to know exactly who was with those particular uh, uh, goods that uh, he got hold of uh, this particular individual to help them move. So a section of uh, Tom Boyer has been uh, cordoned off. Of course, uh, on the right, it's uh, as where the camera is facing is where the National Archives is. That one has already been uh, uh, demarcated with the tape as a scene of crime. And then on the left, as you head towards the fire station, a few meters uh, from Odeon, they've also blocked that particular junction. So that is exactly what happened. And uh, this is among the first vehicles, the first uh, officers that are uh, responded that have come to uh, seal the scene of crime of course as uh, we've uh, mentioned uh, it happened exactly outside the Odeon uh, uh, cinema hall under the smoothers uh, actually at the smoothers restaurant and that is what we can be able to explain so far now something interesting Malika even as uh, this place is cordoned off on my right there is a club and uh, they are going on with the uh, music loud music as if nothing has happened. I think uh, the revelers in there, they are going on uh, with their partying, oblivious of the fact that uh, something tragic could have happened here. And therefore, uh, some people here are still going around with their businesses and they cannot exactly figure out what is happening. And of course, Tomboya, you know, that is an area that is usually uh, crowded and therefore security uh, officers here are having it a bit rough to try and push away the crowds that are milling around, of course, uh, are typical of Kenyans, just to know what exactly happened. Just to recap again, Malika, what have, uh, the information that we've uh, gathered so far is that uh, there was an explosion a few minutes after 7.30, and uh, what happened was uh, an individual who was uh, moving the goods over there on that particular trolley, and somebody asked him that to stop that he has forgotten his id now that particular person of course took off but lucky enough uh, what we do gather is that uh, that particular device might space. not out have been scene. we are being asked out to move crime, out of yeah. the crime scene as uh, usual as we said we'll have to uh, get uh, we are being asked we are being helped to move out of the crime scene just to give um, uh, the security officers some good time or enough uh, uh, space to uh, help them uh, now uh, cordon off this particular place. So the security officers now doing what they have to do to secure the scene. And that particular individual that we managed to get on uh, camera earlier, uh, he has some, uh, we understand uh, two people were injured. 
the individual who was pushing the trolley, but they could not let him go because, of course, he'll form part of uh, uh, the investigations that uh, security detectives uh, were uh, doing. And uh, that is exactly what we will be able to uh, talk about. Uh, my colleague, Hussein Mohammed, I can see him coming uh, from the other side. Of course, you know he's from the investigations uh, uh, desk. So with the moment he gets further, uh, more details, I'll be able to engage him and exactly uh, know what has he been able to collect so far in terms of uh, what exactly has happened. But as I've said, businesses, of course, have now started closing. But as I've said, there's a club over there, and uh, it's business as usual. Uh, some of them, actually, they are not so sure. They are not aware of what is uh, happening. And uh, more vehicles, of course, are now driving in. Uh, you will understand the, 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 the now the urgency to come and back the security officers that are here. So that is the situation that we are, are having here right now. Uh, my colleagues are coming in uh, one by one, uh, once they, of course, from the crime uh, desk, and once they get a hold of uh, uh, some of the information that we can be able to uh, get, then we'll be able to exactly relay. Malika? The, yes, uh, Duncan Haimba, thank you uh, for those details. Now, of course, I want you to clarify once again for us exactly which spot you are at, where exactly this particular explosion took place so that we know the particular spot. I do know, as you said, this is the junction of Latema Tomboya Street. Can you just give us the exact location of that? And have you been able to speak to anyone who was around the area when that particular explosion did take place? We've not been able to talk to any person uh, because uh, many that were here, of course, you've seen the security uh, officers or the security personnel uh, are repulsing them or pushing them away from uh, uh, this particular spot. But uh, we were hoping that uh, we'll be able to, if possible, to talk to that individual. But you'll understand now he'll form, uh, uh, of course, a very uh, part of the integral critical uh, uh, persons of interest that the security officers will be engaging. And therefore, uh, that individual, when we went live, of course, he was still there. We understand he has some injury, but uh, the police were still uh, holding on to him to get more details because for him, he just said, Basically, he had just landed an evening job as usual to move uh, goods or he had been given uh, an assignment or, or uh, some duty to move them uh, from uh, to uh, uh, one place to the other. My colleagues, uh, Brian Obuya and uh, Hussein Mohammed are here. I don't know. Uh, Hussein, maybe what have, been, what have you been able to gather so far as, uh, in, in as much as uh, this incident is concerned? Well, um, in terms of uh, casualty, uh, what we have gathered is that um, unconfirmed reports are reaching us that one person has uh, died. Uh, we, are, we are still uh, scanning the area. Um, the police have already barricaded everywhere. So we are trying to see if uh, we can get more information. But uh, what we can report so far is that um, one person has uh, passed on, and uh, we are still trying to gather more information and see how we can pass uh, the story together. Hi, uh, well, of course, Malika again. Uh uh, Hussein Mohammed trying to uh, tell us one or two things. Brian Obuya uh, is also here. Brian, if uh, I could uh, ask, uh, what have you been able to gather so far as far as that incident is concerned? Of course, uh, Hussein Mohammed saying unconfirmed reports that one person might have uh, succumbed. What have you been able to get? Oh, well, uh, according to the information on the ground, is that uh, there, ma there could have been intentions to ensure that this particular device got into one of the vehicles around. And we also get to understand that the bomb squad has also arrived to to just analyze, to, to get a feel of what this device was, what could have been the impact of it, and uh, probably try to hand it, that report to another team, which uh, is going to take a look at tracing back to who are the masterminds or what could have been the uh, the bigger intention behind it and uh, all what we see uh, right now is just uh, the team of GSU trying to control the crowds because you saw the hundreds of people milling around the air and that could mean uh, fatalities if anything else could uh, uh, could, could happen uh, just in the, in the course of it all
Yes, Mama. Well, thank you, Malik. Again, that is another uh, confirmation or information that we are getting. We it will take time, of course, before we get processed information or before we get the actual. As you can see, the officers are trying to the the bomb the bomb squad. Uh, uh, they are trying to uh, they are trying to uh, get information. They are trying to uh, pick snap shrapnels or whatever they could have gotten from uh, the whatever came out from it. So. Uh, these are the, uh, of course, uh, bomb squad uh, that has arrived on the ground. Uh, the anti-terror poli police squad is also here. Of course, uh, the normal, the regular police officers that were here, the GSU officers are also here, and therefore that is the situation that we are having. Malika, you had asked me just to clarify exactly where are we? We are at the junction of Latema Road and Tom Boyer. There is, uh, it's a famous for the Odeon Cinema Hall. So that is exactly where we, we, we are. The restaurant, Smoother's Restaurant, has closed and we can be able to see from the glasses here uh, some of the uh, workers and maybe the uh, persons who are in there having their dinner. They are still there. Of course, you can see far where uh, the uh, security officers are. They are trying to, whatever was being moved on that trolley is still there. And the officers now have zeroed in on that particular area. That is what is happening now. And uh, of course, as my colleagues have said, more reinforcement is coming in, in terms of the security personnel that are coming to secure this particular scene. Now, uh, of course, on a casual talk with one or two persons here, they are saying that perhaps it was uh, by mere, it was just lucky for the fact that that particular, that that particular, ex uh, sorry about that, that that particular explosion did, uh, the way it happened, it did not explode at an angle that could be at 45. Usually that is how the impact can be felt and therefore they are saying that the fact that it was uh, uh, covered and the way it uh, got off the trolley could have saved the situation because the impact has not been that particular way it was expected. And of course there is a stretcher that is being uh, uh, moved here. We are not so sure whether we have uh, uh, some emergency there. We will just try to move that particular direction to know. Where exactly is that stretcher headed and if there are any persons that are maybe they were injured as they were moving. So there is a stretcher that has uh, uh, come over and I can see, um, uh, of course, that is where that individual was and the individual who was pushing the, the, the trolley, we can be able to uh, sight him right now. Of course, he had just been whisked maybe far away from the glare of cameras. Uh, and I think uh, he's the person th that wants to be wheeled uh, to an ambulance, maybe to be rushed to hospital. So that one exactly. So we will have to we will have to move far just to move uh, far a bit. We will have to move far a bit, and therefore, as uh, as we move, of course, as I've said, uh, our security personnel here are moving in very fast. So that is exactly what we are we are trying to. That is what we are trying to, uh, sir, we are very sorry, we'll have to move. Sorry, sir, sorry, sir, we do understand. So uh, my colleagues, uh, if they can just move in a bit, uh, you can see that one is uh, now also the para paramilitary, of course, uh, doing what they do best, uh, uh, talking very little and uh, lots of action. And therefore, we are being uh, moved to one particular corner just to ensure that uh, we give them uh, space. Malika, if you can hear me. Yes, yes, uh, Haim, but, uh, you know, the details you're providing are, of course, uh, you know, d uh, diversifying the knowledge that we have regarding this incident. Now, what, of course, we're showing you there is the site of an explosion that took place slightly after 7.30 this evening. It is at the junction of Latema Tomboya Street, and specifically where the Smoothers restaurant is. We are being uh, told that security personnel are advising everybody to avoid that area. Once again, security personnel 
handling that situation are advising the public to avoid that particular area of uh, as of now of course where the explosion has uh, taken place that is once again to clarify at the junction of uh, Latema Tomboya Street and uh, it is right near the Smoothers restaurant as our uh, Duncan Hayamba has once again highlighted and pointed out it was also joined by KTN's uh, Brian Obuya and uh, Hussein Mohammed who are telling us about the details we know so far and we do know that one person has been injured as well as the person who was ferrying the goods the contents that did explode he is somebody who ferries goods via a trolley he was headed for the uh, Kenya cinema it is believed and the man accompanying him left him and told him he needs to actually take his ID back from uh, a nearby stall and shortly after that the contents of the luggage that he was ferrying exploded and uh, so far that's what we know we do know the bomb squad is on the scene there are security details and personnel currently on that particular side as well they're cordoning off the area as you saw if you joined us uh, just a few minutes back they are of course pushing back anyone who is close to the site there we are we're seeing a person on a stretcher who is being taken away from there if we can cross back to you uh, Duncan Hamba uh, what do we know so far about where this uh, gentleman who is on the stretcher is being taken any details so far on that particular side well not where the person all right uh, uh, to some corner so we are just trying to yes. uh, follow uh, and see and i think he must be they must be rushing him to hospital of course and uh, yes there's an ambulance here uh, that is where he's being wheeled uh, i think i is uh, one among the persons who got injured so Don't, don't get close ups. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, uh, Malika, that is the gentleman who was uh, pushing the tr the trolley. Uh, that uh, the security uh, personnel, they, they are still holding on to him and I think uh, they might be contemplating if uh, some uh, first aid can be administered on him right now at this particular place. And then uh, that other individual, we are not so sure where he w was or rather uh, when that uh, particular incident happened, but of course he's now uh, being uh, uh, actually put into a Red, Red Cross ambulance to be rushed to a uh, hospital for treatment. Uh, yes, I, once again we have to take our position because uh, we have to... Um, Hussein, I don't know whether you've been able to get any more uh, details, maybe.